Yes, guys, how are we doing? So what I'm going to talk through is the sort of the main lessons or the things I have to, I say to a lot of my guys when they start working with me. Um, this obviously doesn't apply to all of them, but again, it's just generally sort of like the general trends of the sort of the sayings I go to of the sort of the, yeah, when the guys that jump on and it's sort of because obviously at the start, everyone's excited and they want to make that change. They want to get out of pain, whatever it is, they're excited to like sort of invest and to do something new, be around this environment, they're pumped which is amazing. And like the main thing is a case of, right, um, or the first things first is sort of mainly just to start taking action, okay? Start taking action, that's the first thing, to start taking these steps, okay? Start sort of getting moving, okay? Like sort of because you've been thinking about it for so long now, you've been thinking about it for weeks, for reaching out, or this has been building up for months and years, like you've been like sort of wanted to change but now you haven't so now is obviously where like sort of yeah you've, they've done so you've, you've, you've moved forward we've spoken we got away like sort of the main thing is yeah start to take an action start taking these steps that's what you have to do okay don't worry about anything else yet okay just start taking action like i said web that's just get a workout in start going through the workout and then we build on it each week okay and um, which then sort of in turn is the case of which is the next one which is like just focus on sort of yeah getting moving first getting the workouts in perhaps drinking a bit more water eat more veg don't sort of worry about doing it changing everything and like sort of trying to like uh, follow the diet template i give you or we work towards don't try and sort of like oh i'm going to follow that strict i'll know again this is like so you don't need to do that okay and it's sort of most of the time it is reining people back in okay that's a big thing i always have to do is bring people back is pull them back is to stop them okay oh ah, yeah i'm so pumped i'm gonna i'm cutting that alcohol i'm cutting out bread i'm clearing my cupboards now i'm cutting up the kitchen i was like no stop slow the fuck down okay you don't need to do that okay you are sure because you have done that in the past and look away it's got you okay so yes i've made the enthusiasm but you, like that's the worst thing you want to do is just like trying to cut everything out so we want to slow down okay and that's the thing and it's trying to get people to slow down and it's like you just need to start taking action get some workouts in perhaps two to three this week whatever okay and then we'll start Diet and we'll build, we'll build each week, we'll add a different layer, we'll go up the steps each week, okay? Because we are here again looking at serve, we're, it's, look, we look at serve, we want to be here for a long time, we want to look at serve, you want to be able to do this in 12 months, in three years from now. You don't want to just do this for a few weeks and then go back to the original way of like behaviors. No, that's fucking a failure on both our parts, okay? Like, I've, I've, I've failed you if I allow you to do that, okay? It's going to serve, right? Okay, we need to serve, right? You're doing this, this is the start. We want to build sort of like a six, 12 months in mind. So it's just part of your lifestyle. So you can keep the results. You can keep progressing. You can stay sustainable. Okay. And it just becomes who you are. Okay. So yeah, like I said, a lot of stuff is to start taking, just taking some action. That's the main thing. But obviously, like, so you don't have to like sort of change everything overnight. Rome wasn't built in a day, as the saying goes. And like for some people, then as well, it's just raining them back in. Like, sort of get the stock, get the slow down, okay? You don't need to change all this, it's too much. Just do this, okay? You don't need to cut stuff out. And then another point is then, sort of, right, okay, we need to sort of start tracking stuff. We need to see where we're at. We need to get some benchmarks. We need to get some numbers, okay? Instead of just feelings and emotions, because they lie to us, okay? So we need to sort of know where we're at in terms of our, perhaps our weight, take measurements, photos, um, like sort of our current, sort of where we're at at the moment, sort of, right? What's your sort of, how many steps do you normally hit a day? What's your current eating like? Sort of, right, sort of log, log down. Let's have lucky calories, sort of things. We get an idea of where you're at at the moment. And then, so you've got that benchmark of where we're starting out. Just like you would when you go to sat-nav, it starts with, you, like you look at your current location, okay? Like this is your current location and to move towards your destination, it figures out the, the map. And that's what it is, okay? So we figure out, okay, this is your weight. This is sort of like sort of how active you are. This is sort of perhaps how much you're eating. Okay, great. We got an idea, and then this is where we can make tweaks from. We've got this big sort of like um, bird's eye view, you know, the big blueprint. Of, okay, so we need to do this to to build, and we can build the roadmap to get to the destination. Um, and these are like I said, these are the main sort of like things I have to sort of teach you guys when they're starting out, and obviously ongoing as well because. As we go through it, again, the main thing is just keep doing the basics. Al, what about this? What about this? No, just keep fucking doing it. You haven't done it often enough. You're not consistent enough. Don't worry about that, okay? Like, sort of, again, how many calories are you hitting? Okay, uh, I'm not. Again, like, uh, should I do this? Should I do this? It's like, a, I don't know, what outcomes have you achieved? What, what, how has your body changed? 
I don't know, I'm, I'm checked. Well, there we go then. Oh, like, sir, my weight to stay the same. Have you looked at your other data? I am checked it. Track more fucking data, okay? Stop tracking just your weight, okay? Um, that's a big one, okay? Like, oh, I, I've done the weight. Because, that yeah, jumping on scales is easy, okay? I was like, okay, my weight to stay the same, okay? I don't give a fuck, okay? Like, we need to look at our measurements to sort of to actually have a real sort of answer. To sort of, if we want to sort of look into it even further, okay? Um... So again, like I said, this is why I like this sort of the main things. I don't worry too much about, don't look at supplements too much. Or I say, oh, they ask about supplements. I was like, no, focus on your training and nutrition. You can get some protein perhaps if you want to, multivitamins, some amigas, but don't go sort of raid my protein, anything like that. No, okay? You need to spend more on your food bill than you do on your supplement bill. Um, and like sort of the main thing is, again, sort of, when it boils down, it's just like roping people in, bringing people back and just focusing on the fucking basics, rinsing and repeating them, okay? It's trying to sort of control their behavior. I was like, right, you're trying to drink more water. Ah, oh, yeah, okay, so I, so I do something else. No, drink more water, get to bed earlier, eat more veg, like look at your calories, log them down and sort of get your fucking, get your workout in. Simple as that, okay? And be consistent with that. Um, and then, yeah, big one, weekends, okay? You should still be the dick on weekends, mate, okay? You're not consistent enough. Yeah, okay, I was good in the week. Yeah, you're not consistent enough. You're fucking, you, you, you overshot on the weekend and they w- wiped out everything on, in the week, okay? Um, and it's like, yeah, th- you've got to make a decision. You've got to decide, sort of, right, okay, do you sort of, do you want this goal or do you want weekends, okay? Because you, you can't sort of have both. The level of the way you play on weekends at the moment, you, you can't have this. So you can tighten these up and move towards this, yes, and still have some sort of like uh, obviously like beers and stuff like that and like some takeaways and different things. But the mo- the bigger your goal, the more you want to sort of leaner you want to get, the, like the higher you want to get in terms of like le- like athlete level. The the more this has to be a bit sacrificed. Okay, um, like I said these are conversations I have sort of again when guys starting and ongoing as well um, with our sort of, with our clients. Um, it is to do like I said keep doing the basics, keep r- rinse and repeating the basics. And just sort of again, lot implementing your, your mindset work. Do like do some meditation, do some reading, do some journaling. Okay, um, like yeah, what? Well, did you go off track? Well, again, why did you go off track? What happened? What what caused that? Okay, and then assessing that. Well, what can we do to improve that next week or next time? How can we put something in place, or what can we put in place to stop that like sort of scenario happening? Okay, and it's just this is a constant improvement. Okay, right. What did you get done? So we gamify everything. We can see right. What did you get done? Okay. What didn't you get done, and what lessons did you learn? Okay. Uh, you didn't get done this, and why didn't you get done? What what can we do to improve it? And then it's just there. Like I said, rinse and repeat it. Okay. Oh, I should buy this. No. Well, you can if you want to be if you want to waste money. Up to you. Um, but those are some of the things, like the conversations I have, like I said, quite often, pretty much all the time, with guys starting out and sort of, um, yeah, like sort of uh, ongoing. Or like the classic one is, oh, Al, I'm, I'm so unfit, Al, I'm struggling. Yeah, good. You go into, like, no one said it's easy. You expect it to be fucking hard. Okay? Don't, why, why are you expecting it to be easy? Who, th- who told you it's going to be easy? Where does this easy come from? You, you've had it easy. That's why you're fucking here. Okay? Like, this is what you have to understand. And just sort of, you're going to suck. You're going to struggle. You're going to be uncomfortable. You're going to be lifting, like, sort of not very much. You're not going to be able to do much because you perhaps haven't been doing things. Or other guys have been doing, that will be further ahead than you. Yes, because they've been working with me. They've been putting in the work when you haven't. That's just the reality of the situation. Deal with it. Focus on where you're at and get better one day at a time. And these are just, again, the main thing I give to guys is just the truth bomb and just the fucking, the, yeah, just, literally like this is the fucking raw and just like it's taking responsibility this is where you're at you've done this the, this is you just a result of your choices like which means obviously a it's fucking you you're in control the you choices got you here so your choices can get you out of here simple as that okay um and it's, it's giving them the, that, that reality check sometimes it's like look stuff isn't all good okay you're in a fucking mess. You're in a world of pain. Let's, let's, let's stop brushing stuff under the rug. And I say, call, like having that sort of, that deep, honest chat so they can start moving forward. So they start, instead of just like, everything's fine and just like, so start sort of, um, pull that comfort blanket away really. Because um, everyone else in their life, the family and friends will give them sort of, oh, it's, it's, it's everything okay. Don't worry about it. You're fine. You're okay. Where they know they're hurting inside themselves. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to sort of, 
You might not like what I'm going to say right now, but you're going to love it in a few weeks and a few months, okay? Because it's going to benefit you. It's that love-hate relationship. Everything I do is obviously to make people better. It's what I do with my coaches. I get called out and just like put on a spot. It feels awkward at the time, which means that's good, okay? I guess it's, it's, that opens you up and allows you to start making changes and recognize and have some awareness of what's the way you're doing. It's just like, this doesn't work. I need to do something different. I need to sort of work harder, whatever. Okay, so just want to give you an insight of what we do, guys. Okay, so yeah, it's pretty sort of like I said, it's it's deep, and again, it's sort of again, we, we don't sort of like skim over stuff, we go into sort of right, okay, like really go vulnerable because that's where it's at. Most people just sort of like pussyfoot around and they don't sort of they sugarcoat stuff, they don't sort of realize or they don't sort of take stock, they don't have any accountability, um, and they don't sort of manage anything or do stuff and that's why they're in pain that's why they're overweight unhealthy whatever that's why they're struggling okay because they're not doing the stuff they need to do the, the uncomfortable stuff okay that's going to get them the body and the lifestyle they want okay hope that helps chance if you want to know sort of more if you want to sort of like to have a chat out like to, whether it's on the phone or messenger whatever whatsapp just like i said just drop me a message just have a chat okay and sort of again you can go through while well, clients go through or just jump in on our sort of our free trials um and just experience it for yourself. So I think if you if it's time you really want to make that change and you need to do something different, then yeah, reach out. Peace.